Now they've got, uh, you know, something that I was trying to pronounce so well, but I kept saying it badly. Afri. Afriative. Afriative. Afri you know, that can air up with you. So Afriative is um, a conglomerate that represents, you know, like African creatives, long mm -hmm. and short of it, right? Yes. But I want you guys to tell us about Afriative. Of course, there's a lot of people who are listening right now. They've never heard of it. And you guys have some amazing voices. So I don't think I should be even be the, ones, be the one to say it. First and foremost, welcome to the show. Welcome to Trace Radio. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're so excited to be here. Yes. You can see our smiles. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we can hear your smiles. You can hear it. Yay. <laughs> so I'm Wendy Karani. Uh -huh. Tell the people. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, oh, I'm Wendy Karani. I'm the CEO and co-founder um, at Afriative, and I'm here with my co-founder. Sharon Nyango Obo, COO and co-founder at Afriative. I love that. <laughs> so Afriative. You've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you really have. So, so, so yeah, yeah huh, you were saying. Okay, so we're going to tell you a little bit about what Afriative is. We're going to also tell you the spelling. It's A-F-R-E-A-T-I-V-E. -E, African creative. So the common denominator is the R. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Afriative. Um, Afriative. Yeah. So right. Afriative is a platform um, that aims to empower creatives on the African continent. Mm -hmm. um, so we aim to, we're creating like a LinkedIn, but for the creative industries. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. So people are going to be able to network you're able to um, access income opportunities you're able to learn through our education portal um, I think the creative industries are so underrepresented that we said okay we can't always wait for other people to give us solutions let's create one um, so we're leveraging the power of networks to empower creatives yes do you want to tell them what we've been up to yes so um, <laughs> we obviously wanted to do this um, through our platform, like we said, a, like a LinkedIn for the African creative. But we were like, instead of waiting for the platform to be ready, we can provide value um, right now. Mm -hmm. So we were like, let's start with education, which is one of our main pillars. Um, and we kicked off a web series, um, educating our community on the record creation pipeline, right? So we were like, let's say Alvin joined in episode one. We wanted you to learn about songwriting mm -hmm. and then move to production yes. and engineering. Yes. But we didn't stop at the creative side. Guys, we went, we did legal, we did branding and marketing. Um, we had a webinar on creative management. And next week we have one on monetization. So those are eight webinars where we've been educating the Afriative community mm. about the record creation pipeline. On the continent, there's obviously creatives that are deemed sexier than others, mm. right? But are you oh guys... Oh gosh. <laughs> no, which, no, no, ones? No. which ones are sexy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think the biggest one, of course, is the musicians, yes. right? Because they have, you know, everybody sees them. They've got the different platforms and all of that. Yes. But for you guys, in terms of Afriative, the creative sector, who are you guys dealing with? Is it just a particular creative or all different mm -hmm. disciplines? Okay, so we are starting with the music industry, but we yes. are targeting all the industries mm -hmm. um, because it's a very collaborative industry the creative industries they tend to work together on many levels mm. um so you've got your photographers you've got your videographers you've got your painters your dancers um your performing artists yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> My, yes. there's so many there's so many there's so many but they're so, all interlinked right? yeah because even here right now um you are radio presenters but there's a photographer here there's someone on social media yes so even though we are starting with the music industry because it's our area of love and expertise the plan is to grow and to be pan-african as well I feel okay. like this is a great point to say Sharon is actually a phenomenal music producer. Oh, I'm so Yes, mm. phenomenal. And I'm a shower singer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's For move now. you to the living room now. Yes. From the yeah. shower to the living room. We're, so, we're dropping straight to the studio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, a creative. I want to know when the seed was planted or when it was born in your, on your mind. And I want to know Ooh. about that day. On that day, how it came together because it's co founders seated yeah, yeah. Um, together. The, just like the, the long real story? story? I <laughs> the, just give me that day when we were like, aha, this is what we are doing. So, you know what's <laughs> funny? It was never a, a one day thing. We mm -mm. When we met, um, so it was like we saw. Okay, how did you meet? Oh, sorry. So, <laughs> Shani, well, we've, been, we've been friends for, for many years and yes. we're basically sisters, guys. Um, <laughs> so. <clears throat> We went to a studio and we saw it and it was empty and we we're like, you know what, there is like a space. Sharon was um, starting, not starting, but like continuing with her music career. And so we went and we had a different idea. 
So we were going to create what a beat bank. We were going to, so yeah, we had so many ideas, and that's why it's hard to answer your question because okay. it's a process. Yeah, we were like, okay, let's let's do a studio in Ghana, and then we were like, let's let's do a beat bank, and let's do this, and we were like, why are we guessing what the solution is? Why don't let's we go ask to the market? Mm -hmm. So we did yeah. market research. Mm -hmm. We'd go to a Calvin and Alvin. Be like, what? Stressing you guys were like knowledge no, so I got like, a lot Jeez. yeah a lot, you know? no actually yeah so what we found <laughs> was the problem is there are many, many problems, problems. The, yeah. the problem is there are many problems there are Five, many problems three. yeah I don't know who said that but I it, somebody said it to us and we're like you're absolutely right so when we did our market research we saw that there were so many issues and then Sean and I had a headache trying to figure out okay how can we actually address most of these issues if not all mm. um, mm. and so as we were thinking about it hey guys we took so many car thoughts. rides we thought we had lunches yes. we really really thought because we wanted wanted to create like a full solution. All right. Yeah. So we're in this market called Kenya, right? Yes. I know you're Pan-African, yeah. but in the market that we're in right now, Kenya, you've done mm -hmm. a market research. What is aiding us? Why is it? And I am tempted to ask Ooh. you this question. I feel like asking, why is it that we want to import and listen to stuff from everywhere else and not us? She doesn't say to Nigani, but what is our <laughs> problems right here in the Kenya from in the 254 when you look at us from you know, from the angle you did. Okay, there's so many. <laughs> there's so many, once again. So what we found was, um, it's a combination of many things, but ultimately quality control. Quality I mean, control? Quality control, hey. because I, uh, let me take this um, to, uh, to a personal level. So I've always loved audio, and I was like, one day I'm going to do something in audio, but I didn't know what. And I'd always wonder why, you know, you can be listening to a playlist, it will be an essay song, a Niger song, mm -hmm. and a Kenyan song, but I was like, the Kenyan song sounds, it sounds a bit different. And I didn't know what that was, but then once I learned mix engineering, I was like, oh, the quality of our mixes isn't the best. We're not recording in the best um, acoustic environments like your lovely Trace Studio. We're not branding ourselves. We're not um, creating EPK, EPKs, we're not circulating them. So we were like, okay, is there a way we can bring standardization mm -hmm. and unity to all of these different things so mm -hmm. that is not a thing for calvin is charging 100k for a mix and i'm charging 2k no i'm not yeah <laughs> so it makes it hard to even um have a standard quality when there's no standard pay yeah and there's no standard education and synthesis around growing your craft and monetizing it did i um, did um, i read correctly somewhere that you're a mixed engineer yes i is you the boss one at that okay she, she said it now Wait, can I can I please continue answering okay. that question? Yeah. Okay, so I'm uh, someone might come for Sharon for that comment, but <laughs> someone will come for me for this one. And um, there's also a lack of infrastructure, a lack of system here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if we're talking, if you look at the Nigerian industry now, I think it's one of the best examples we can have in Africa, where the 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 government has has offered the support to the creative industries, and they've seen the profit that is available there. Yes. Um, South Korea is also another great example. So without that, like overarching support it's very hard to build the industry and that's like that cohesiveness even kenyans we're not together we're not together, we're not together guys there's like, one there's one person here one yeah, person here one person yeah there, so that kind of here. cohesiveness it's one of my favorite things about afriative is we kind of tend to bring all the creatives under one umbrella and then we can actually start to impact change because when everybody's working in silos you're not able to get that type of change that you need um another thing we found was creators said they want to learn more yeah. yeah. How many schools do you have here that are teaching mm -hmm. photography, that are teaching music? Um, I, yeah. I and then access to money. Yeah. Access to money. <laughs> I think that's, that's very, very important and something quite noble that you guys are doing. Because a lot of people, all, you know, um, I like what you've said, right? Creators want to learn, they want to understand all of the different forms. Because there's so much information out there, but yet not too. Mm -hmm. Not getting to the ground, right? Yes. Now tell me about the event that is actually happening this weekend.